हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर कॉलेज यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर सूर्यकांत अदाटे फ्रॉम श्री मुधाई देवी शिक्षण संस्था प्रोफेसर संभाजीराव कदम कॉलेज देऊर टुडेज प्रेजेंटेशन इज फॉर बी ए पार्ट थ्री इंग्लिश नॉवेल टुडे इज आवर फिफ्थ लेक्चर ऑन जनरल टॉपिक्स एंड द प्रेजेंटेशन टॉपिक इज अस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ द नॉवेल इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर डिस्कस्ड अबाउट प्लॉट एंड कैरेक्टर्स which are very important elements of the novel today in this lecture we are discussing about setting and point of view first setting setting means a background the novel can have its a setting or background in any part of the world and any time past present and future the action of the novel takes place in some actual or imaginary place a change in setting necessarily changes the meaning of the novel it may broadly be used in the context of the social setting the historical period or the natural or physical location against which the novelist sets his novel it may further be divided into two types concrete setting and abstract setting the concrete setting refers to the actual local whereas the abstract setting to the ethos of community the novelist may choose either of these two or both simultaneously a good historical novel requires a good match between characters and setting in terms of time as well as place In the picaresque narrative the setting changes frequently as the main character travels from one place to another place In the stream of consciousness novel the setting may not change at all There are novels in which there is less importance given to sociological or naturalistic background but nevertheless its existence is felt On the contrary the setting has a major role to play in the social or domestic novels students the setting of the novel can be a city a village or it can be the sea the forest the desert or the planet it gradually builds up a certain mood it may play the role of a character or may represent a social attitude or may perform an agency for destruction wherever it's a role the setting of the novel does contribute to the plot of the novel to the development of the story and characters in it horace walpole's the castle of otranto published in 1765 has the setting of a gloomy castle furnished with dungeons subterranean passages and sliding panels in the middle ages whereas the sea in Ernest Hemingway's novel The Old Man and the Sea which was published in 1952 accuses the status of a character because the old man looks upon the sea as women you are in love with The next point is the point of view A novel has a story characters and a setting it also must have a storyteller or a narrator's voice narrative voice and point of view are similar concepts point of view signifies the way a story gets told it is a method of narration that determines the position or angle or vision from which the story of the novel is told the characters dialogue action setting and events constitutes the narrative in a work of fiction point of view is the mode by which of which they are prescribed to the reader henry james the art of the novel focuses on the concept of point of view according to him point of view is one of the most prominent and persistent concerns in modern treatments of the art of prose fiction there are different types of narratives and different ways of, pres uh, of presenting a story they are first person second person and third person point of view first first person point of view this means that the story is told in the first person i the character refers him i 
in the story and addresses the reader as you. First person point of view is subjective. The feelings and thoughts of narrator is his own. The mode limits the matter of the narrative to what the first person narrator knows experiences or can find out by talking to other character. Second, second person point of view. In the second person point of view, the story gets told as an address by the narrator to someone he calls you. This type of narration is not used frequently. This form of narration occurred in occasional passages of traditional fiction. Third, third person point of view. It is divided into omniscient and limited point of view. In omniscient point of view, the narrator knows everything about the agents, actions and events. He also knows the character through feelings and motives. He is free to move at will in time and place to shift from character to character and to report their speech doing and state of consciousness. The narrator not only reports but also comments on or evaluates the action and motives of the character. He sometimes expresses personal views about human life in general. Many of the greatest novelists such as Henry Fielding, Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, George Eliot and Thomas Hardy have written in this fashion. In limited point of view, the narrator tells the story in the third person but tells only what is experienced, thought and felt by a single character within the story. With this, we conclude here. Thank you very much.